Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. I had a couple people ask me about feeding these guys and what I feed them and you know they get to a point where it gets expensive with certain kind of flakes and uh, pellets or whatever. So I do supplement their diet with other foods and today I'm gonna feed them shrimp and I feed them shrimp a lot. It's cheap. The protein content isn't terrible. It's about half of what they really need. I think they need about 45%. I think shrimp is in the 23 to 25%. But these are full grown, so do they really need that much protein? I think it's important that they do have it, but this is a cheap way of, uh, of feeding these guys because it could, you know, it does get expensive. So let me show you what I, uh, what I got going on here. These are, I just cooked these guys. These are regular little shrimp. You can buy them depending on where you live. We have some really good Asian supermarkets or fish markets and you can buy them with the heads on and stuff. I typically pay about $5 a pound, $4.99 a pound for these guys. A little bit cheaper with heads on, like $4.39. Not this time of year, near Christmas, everything's a little bit eh, eh, eh. But uh, that's, what I, uh, that's what I do. Sometimes I feed it raw. I know people are against it because of bacteria, yada, yada, yada. In this case, we're gonna do it. We'll cook it and this way there's nobody can panic, all right? So let me show you how I, how I clean it up and get ready to, to feed. Hang on. Let's get cooking with this. I gotta work around this tripod and uh, see how we're gonna do this. I cook it with the shells on because, come on, get out of here. It's easier to take them off. So you just run up the back without cutting your fingers off. Take the shells off. And then I slice them down the middle and what I try to do is I dice it up and that's pretty much it and uh, when you cook it it kind of flakes up a little bit just three minutes and then uh, then you can break it up into even smaller pieces I feed it to angelfish and the smaller goldfish I leave them to about that size for uh, the adults and I'll cut up a little finer like more like this for the little guys something they can fit in their mouth but they all eat it at first they may not see it as food but after they figure it out then they'll go to town on it I really like it let me do one more get out of here I just gotta take it down the center if you see the vein right there you can get rid of that that's just the uh, shrimp poo poo trail and get rid of that and then just dice it up you, 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 you. and uh, put it in here and that's that and I'll show you how I store it in a second okay so I I cleaned about a half dozen and it fills this cup up about halfway and you just take a pinch or so and drop it in. Are you gonna eat it? There you go. And they eat it. And let me show you how I store this stuff. Easy. All right, so I take it and I just run some water just so it's covered. That's it. It's just floating there in the water. And then, hang on. I put it on the door in this little fridge down here, and that's it. I come in in the morning, I take the cup out, I do my feeding, and I'm done. And here is the, can this thing focus today? Uh, I guess not. Uh, I'll throw it in the freezer. And when the other one's done, I will cut it up. Is this gonna, hello? All right, 
Well, I guess not. Well, that's that. That's what I feed these big dogs and the little dogs and the, some of the angels. Angels just get it for a snack, basically, but they eat it, so that's good. So if I don't see you guys, which I'm probably not going to, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, guys. And uh, see you in uh, 2020. Peace.